Hello and welcome back everyone to Behind the Lens, your entertainment channel where you catch up with the latest releases and upcoming movies, series and more. Don't waste your time searching for fake news and release date, join your favorite channel and stay updated with the world of films and programs. So let's get straight to it. The Flash, a film in its early stages about Barry Allen, also known as The Flash. The movie is the sixth installment in the DC Extended Universe. There are rumors that the first human Green Lantern, Hal Jordan, will appear in the film as a supporting character or as a cameo. The Flash, starring Ezra Miller, will most likely appear as a cameo in Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice, in which the entire Justice League team will presumably be revealed for the first time. The Scarlet Speedster is finally getting his chance to shine in an adventure that will take him to alternate universes and introduce him to new and old heroes. Ezra Miller is reprising the hero's signature red and gold look after appearing alongside other major DC characters in Justice League and the film's extended version, Zack Snyder's Justice League. It's clear that this new story will take the Flash in some unexpected directions, broadening the DC extended universe like never before. On a side note, this is unrelated to the Flash TV series. However, due to some multiverse speed force shenanigans, Grant Gustin's version of the speedster and Ezra Miller's Barry Allen briefly met during the Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, here's everything we know about the upcoming film The Flash. Starting off with the release date and the story behind the slowdown, the Flash will be released in theaters on November 4, 2022. The Flash has had so many release dates over the last 17 years that it's almost unbelievable that the film is finally coming to theaters. Even if we only consider the DCEU version of the speedster, he was supposed to get his own film back in 2016, but that didn't happen. From there, Ezra Miller's Barry Allen was supposed to be released in March 2018, but that date was pushed back when director, writer Seth Graham Greene left the project due to the age-old reason, creative differences. Anyway, thanks to Ezra Miller's commitments to another globally beloved franchise Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, Warner Brothers then aimed for a 2021 release date. The Flash, like most movies scheduled in the last year or so, was then pushed back even further due to the pandemic. However, with IT director Andy Muschietti on board, it appeared that Barry Allen's luck had finally changed. The film began production in April 2021 and finished filming in early October 2021, though plenty of photos and videos from the set have already made their way online, giving fans a good look at some of the characters in the story. As for the plot and story details, since The Flash has been around in comic books for the last 80 years, it's safe to say that director Andy Muschietti and scriptwriter Christina Hodson have a wide range of stories and villains to choose from. Hodson's work on 2019's Birds of Prey clearly impressed Warner Brothers, as she's also writing the Batgirl film for Bad Boys for Life directors Adil El Arbi and Bilal Fala. The plot will be based on Jeff John's Flashpoint comics, with Barry Allen attempting to travel back in time to prevent his mother from being murdered when he was a child. Obviously, anyone who has seen Back to the Future or The Butterfly Effect knows that changing something in the past has far-reaching consequences in the future. So, if he saves his mother, he will set the world on an unusual new course. In the film, he will also travel through the multiverse, as both Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton reprising their roles as Batman. Yes, you heard that right. For the first time since 1992's Batman Returns, Michael Keaton appears to be wearing the cape and cowl. He won't be the only hero fighting alongside the Flash, as Sasha Kaye, from The Young and the Restless, will make her DCEU debut as Supergirl. Although, for the time being, it's unclear whether she's playing Supergirl herself, Kara Zor-El, or a different version of Superman from somewhere else in the multiverse. After all, she wears a suit that is very similar to Henry Cavill's iconic dark blue suit, albeit with bright red shoulders. As for the trailer, 
DC Fan Dome 2021 gave fans a sneak peek at what's coming up on the big and small screens in the coming year, including a stunning new trailer for The Batman, a sneak peek at Black Adam, and a behind-the-scenes look at Shazam! Fury of the Gods. However, fans were treated to a surprising first teaser for The Flash, which teases a grand adventure for Ezra Miller's Barry Allen. The video begins with two different versions of Barry Allen arriving at an abandoned version of Wayne Manor. We also get to see The Flash's new costume, which is much sleeker than his armored suit from Justice League, and it's flowing with energy that the hero generates when he runs. In the trailer, we see a makeshift version of the costume being made for the other Barry, as well as the iconic Flash ring in which the hero keeps his suit. The teaser's most dramatic scene features Keaton's Batman standing in front of the camera, presumably to keep fans excited about his return to the role, before the Barrys and Supergirl stand together in the Bat Cave. It's worth noting that the second Barry is dressed in the spray-painted Flash suit, which, according to Andy Muschietti's Instagram, is a modified version of Keaton's Bat suit. The footage concludes with a funny moment in which Barry 2 pulls off the cover of what appears to be Keaton's Batmobile, so hopefully we'll get to see that in action as well. Moving on to cast members, in case it wasn't obvious, Ezra Miller is reprising his role as Barry Allen in the DCEU, after appearing briefly in Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice and Suicide Squad before taking on the lead role in Justice League. Surprisingly, he'll be playing multiple versions of The Flash in the film, with many fans speculating that the second version is actually Eobard Vaughn, aka The Reverse Flash. He's Barry's 31st century arch-nemesis, and he's so obsessed with the hero that he gets plastic surgery to look like him. Yikes! Vaughn is an important part of the Flashpoint storyline in the comics, so it would be interesting to incorporate him into the film in this way. Sasha Kaye as Supergirl joins Miller, as do Michael Keaton and Ben Affleck as two different versions of Batman from the multiverse. Kiersey Clemens is also set to get some screen time as Barry's love interest, Iris West. She appears briefly in Zack Snyder's Justice League, so hopefully she has more to do this time than just be a damsel in distress. Meanwhile, Ron Livingston has taken over the role of Henry Allen, Barry's father, who was wrongfully convicted of murdering his wife, Nora Allen. He spent the majority of the hero's life in prison, which is what drives the hero to become a crime scene investigator in the first place. Finally, Maribel Verde is playing Nora Allen, and it's clear that Barry's reunion with her will be emotional. Alright, so that's everything you need to know about the Flash movie coming out in November 4th, 2022. Let me know your expectations of the movie in the comments down below and your thoughts. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. To see more videos like this in the future hit that subscribe button. Thanks a lot for watching, hope you enjoyed. Stay safe, stay tuned and see you soon.